What up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your guy, something, something, something. Hit the keys here today with a quick review and demonstration over Chow Matrix. Um, it's a wild, wild delay plugin. Um, it's by the same people who made the plugin I just recently reviewed uh, called Chow Tape Model. Um, it's pretty dope. If you're an FL Studio user, uh, make sure you stick with me for a minute because there's something that you have to do in order to use this plugin. Otherwise, it won't work correctly. Then you're going to come back and you're going to give me a thumbs down. You're going to tell me I suck in the comment section and all that stuff. We don't need that. So just stick around for a second and I got you. Uh, make sure if you guys like this content, I'm going to do something a little different today. I normally tell you all what to do. But if you like the content, maybe you could consider dropping an elbow on that like button. Consider subscribing. Consider hitting that notification bell so every time we drop a new video, you could be the first to find out. But let's go ahead and get right into this review. Push. Some, some, some. Hit the key. All right. So again, this is similar to the last plugin. You're gonna have to get it from GitHub. Um, basically what it tells you is child matrix is a delay effect made up of infinitely growable tree delay lines, each with the individual controls, feedback, panning, distortion, and more child matrix is available in a VST, VST three AU and standalone application. Um, and somebody hit me up in the comment section last time and told me that you don't have to download the whole code. What you can do is you can come over here to Ben. And then bam, it's got whichever one that you need right here. So it's got it for Mac, it's got it for Windows 32 or 64 bit. Um, once you do that, it's gonna download down here. We're not gonna do that again. Um, then you're just gonna take that DLL file and you're going to drop that into your Steinberg folder in your program files and then search for it in your in your um, DAW. Um, so then once you open up the plugin, it's going to look like this. Now, this is the part that you need to see FL Studio users. Um, you have to come over here and you have to hit this little cog. You have to come to troubleshooting and you have to use fixed size buffers. Um, in order to turn that on, you just click the button and just push yes. Otherwise, the program is not going to work properly. And this is definitely something that you want to make sure works properly. Um, I made a little beat. Uh, I'm going to play the beat. Then I'm going to explain to you what all this does. And we're going to go through the demo. I got a vocal. I'm going to use it on the piano and I'm going to use it on some hi-hats so you can get some sauce for your hi-hats. Uh, but let's go ahead and run this beat. All right, so that's a little beat. Like always, I use the drums for my drum kit. It is free. Uh, link for that below in the description. All you gotta do is jump into the Discord and you can get it full free. Um, but let's go ahead and get into the plugin. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to just loop this area up um, so that we can just play solo that piano there. Um, and basically this plugin has a lot in its little, little package. Um, it's got delay, it's got pan, it's got feedback, gain, it's got a low pass filter, high pass filter, and distortion. Um, but you can do so much with this. Like you can grow these into trees and you can make your delay, delay off your delay or delay from left to right or delay. It just, it does a lot. And I'm going to explain it to you. I'm going to do the best that I can to explain it to you. Um, so here is what that piano sounded like before I put the delay on there. And then here's what it's going to sound like with the basic delay. And this is without building any trees or anything like that yet. All right. So when you look at this, um, basically, this is a representation of this. So if I move this node, you see it moves my delay speed and it moves my panning from left to right. Because you can what's cool is that you can just pan everything to the left and then you don't have anything panning to the right. So just listen. I hope you got headphones on for this one. Uh, but listen, as I move this back and forth. Mm -hmm. 
So you see how it just pans only to one side. So obviously you can do that with other delays, but with this, there's things that you can do that is uh, really, really, really nice features. Um, so um, before I get into building trees, I guess I'll play it with some distortion and some of the other noises on there too, just so you can hear what they sound like. So with like this distortion. There's only three presets. Um, presets may not be the most desirable, so, uh, but I'm gonna play them. And so you see this little tree, it's making delay go to different areas in your mix, um, and it's just doing different things. So we'll go back to default and it's also got this thing that's called insanity mode. So basically it randomizes the delay that you have going on. So if you turn it on, you change your mode down here. It's got four different modes, glitch, rough, smooth, and ultra smooth. Um, and when you turn this on, you'll see how these start going everywhere. So you can just do different things there with that. Um, now, what I like to do is, um, so I'm gonna move the delay over here for just a moment. And if you push on one of the nodes, uh, that's what they're called as nodes, and then you push shift and you click whichever node that you had highlighted, it's going to build another set of delay. So now you can make this delay do whatever you want. And so like, as you move the delay up, it's messing with the seconds per delay. And then if you move it to the left or the right, it's messing with the pan. Um, so we'll just listen. And see, it's got more delay going on and just that, I, and I have it all just panned to the left right now. So now we're gonna build another node. You know, and then you can build another node from there, or you can build a node from this delay to make it do more delay, or it's crazy. You can make these nodes come off of any delay and make it delay off that delay. I don't know how a better way to explain it than that, but it's pretty, pretty neat idea, you know, pretty, pretty, I don't know. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I wanted to show you guys some sauce that you can put on your hi-hats with this. Um, so basically, uh, we're gonna turn it on the hi-hats. This is just what the basic hi-hat pattern sounded like. So then once we turn this on, I mean, we start messing with some of the nodes, we can do all kinds of different stuff with delays and just make the hi-hats even sound saucier. So you see that sounds pretty tight, but then we can build trees like we were doing just a second ago. So then you can have it to where all the delay is coming into one speaker, you know, or you can bounce it back and forth. Um, I don't know, it's just tight, you know, you can just get some extra sauce in your hi-hats, you know? So we'll just build a couple more.
Um, so again, you can do a whole bunch of stuff with that um, just to make your hi-hat sound a lot better. Um, and then lastly, I took this vocal chop because uh, I know you guys want to hear what some delay sounds like on some vocals. Um, and so this is just basically what the vocal chop sounds like before um, I play the Chow Matrix on there. Moonlight. Moonlight. So I just have it looped four times in the nine bar or the eight bar progression. Um, and so then we'll put some Chow Matrix on there. So then you can just have the delay again, just go to one speaker. You can throw some uh, distortion on there if you want to on just one of the nodes. And each one of these nodes, I guess I should have said this before, controls one of these. So you can have one just control your left side, one control your right side, or you can have them both go left, both go right. You can decide what you want the nodes to do. So yeah, it sounds pretty cool with the distortion on the delay. Um, and then we're going to um, make that grow again. And then when you make these grow, you can throw distortion on that. You can put a filter on that. You can do whatever you want with each node. So you can have each each time the delay hits, you can have the delay be different. So you can have the delay be normal, then distorted, then normal again. You can do a whole bunch of stuff. So. See, so that sounds pretty dope. So then we'll, let's mess with this other side. So, you know, that's just, you know, a little quick overview. Um, you know, obviously I just got this plugin, so I've been playing with it for a little bit, so I don't have it perfected. But I thought to myself, man, I got to bring this one to y'all because this one's pretty fire, man. The, the things that you can do with this are just pretty dope. You can't do it with the normal delay because you can only do so much with the normal delay. So, um, you know, make sure if you guys like this content, um, drop an elbow on that like button, consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell so every time you drop a new video, you can be the first to see. I appreciate you guys' time today, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. All right, guys and gals, thanks for watching the video. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe and like button. Uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so every time a new video comes out, you can be the first to know. Uh, let me know what tutorials you want to see next in the comments, and see you next time. Some, some, some hit the key.